I know he's in the building, but we have not met. Probably if we met, maybe I could have slapped him. <laughs> Thanks about the security situation in Kano State, especially the looting and vandalization that is going on in Kano. And uh, we don't want it to result into religious or tribal conflict. Thousands of traders have been rendered without any business. But there are three main issues of contention. One is the project that we executed under PPP, public-private participation in the development of Kano State. In particular, let's talk about the Daula Hotel. Daula Hotel, an old building, more than 40 years. It was abandoned for many years. We got investors under PPP and they constructed a brand new Daula Hotel, redesigned. All the Daula Hotel was just one level. Now this one was six or seven levels. And then a developer has constructed, has built a shopping complex. He is taking the shopping complex. He has built a new dollar hotel without government funds. But this new government, under the directive of the engineer Arabi Musa Konkoso, they demolished the shopping mall. We appointed a technical committee right from the beginning. They gave us a report to the executive council. The executive council approved for the PPP project. The PPP project 90% executed, but now without any investigation, without any notice, this new government under the directive of Senator Arabi Musa Konkoso demolish the building. The issue is in the court of law. If you have your representative in Kano, they should go and see the demolition and they should see the new Dollar Hotel, which is still standing there. Brand new Dollar Hotel. That is one. Two. We signed another PPP project for Trium newspaper. Trium newspaper was abandoned for many years. Trium newspaper was established by the late governor of Kano State, Alhaja Ubakalimi, of blessed memory. When Konkuso came in, he stopped the production. Some of the staff were relieved off. Some were sent to different ministries. Then Triam was dead. When we came and Triam trained so many journalists in Nigeria. So when we came on board, we decided to re-establish Triam to produce copies we started production with Daily Trust. We signed a contract with Daily Trust. We are producing. The old building for Triumph is a mighty building. And because of modern technology, you don't need a mighty building for the production of a newspaper. So we entered into agreement with the private people they built a new office for Triumph. 
provided equipment for Triumph. And then the premises, part of it was given to the Open University. The remaining was given to the private developers who discussed with Beru the change market, which is suffering from insecurity from time to time. So a new market for Beru the change has been built and some market stalls given to Triumph Management, of which they will be getting 45 million Naira every year as rent. While they have a new building, they have equipment, and they are now producing in colors. So, Konkoso thought that we have triumph in bringing back triumph. And he decided to go and demolish and looting the market. That is under PPP. Another project under BOT, Build, Operate, and Transfer. That is the Eid praying ground in Kano. Also, there are thousands of, over 10,000 shops have been built. All of them have been demolished now. And that area belongs to the Kano Emirate Council. Kano Emirate Council, when that's our governor, they wrote us that they would like to provide spaces for market, for shops, because even Kaaba in Saudi Arabia is surrounded by shops. For the Emirate Council to get revenue. So we allowed them. And then they signed an agreement with the individual developers. Over 10,000 shops have been developed. And many traders have rented the buildings. I wish at the end of it I can show you some cliff. How the governor himself went there administering the demolition without even investigating. How can a governor do that? What's the importance of education? Leadership, you need to investigate, you need to find out because you need facts. No notice, nothing. So now people are abusing Konkoso and they're abusing his government. There are some areas now, if you go with a red cap, you will be lynched. I'm telling you this. Ask your correspondent in Kano. That is two, three. They were told one building by a private person belongs to my son. Therefore, they should go and demolish it. It was found out the man built a new plaza, rented it out to many traders. Many youth have got employment there. He went for 4 a.m. and demolished that new plaza. And they discovered the man has certificate of occupancy. He has approved building plan. According to the Land Use Act, you need to investigate. You need to give a notice. Even if it is illegal, you need to give a notice. But this one is not even illegal. There's certificate of occupancy. There's approved building plan. And yet they demolish the whole plaza. How can you act like that? That is three, four. He constructed when he was in office. Take note that I was his deputy. So I, what I'm telling you, I'm telling you the facts, not I'm just beating about the bush. I know what I'm saying. He built a parking upstairs, stairs. That building cracked. And we invited Nigerian Society of Engineers. They gave us a writing that we should not use that building because it will end up in building collapse. 
and kill many people. He spent over 700 million to construct that building and it cracked. Even while construction on some part collapsed. So we entered into agreement because there's a lot of space around there. We entered into agreement with private people. We, they demolished the building. They constructed more than 10,000, I think 15,000 shops and gave government some of the shops. We have an investment uh, company which is managing the shops together with the other kind of state investment. Then to two, he sent a fax, fax wire there demolishing the building. So for goodness sake, when he was a governor, for Daba Hotel, he took part of the land, built houses, even his, he, he has built a house which he has rented out now in the same premises of Daba. And he allocated some plots to some people, some people there. So if we cannot respect what a previous government has done, to consider it illegal without going through due process, how can we administer public like that? So these are the issues with the cliff, with the, it's not a hearsay, we have the, the thing going on. People are abusing the government now. Those who can speak house are, you can put the, we can put the cliff for you to hear. What is that saying? And unfortunately, some of their members have even affected. So ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, that is what took me to Mr. President, and I have briefed him adequately on this. I have spoken with the IGP. I have sent the clip to IGP. IGP is aware of this. They are still, in fact, he even made a press statement they will continue demolishing Congress himself. Not even the governor. The governor is not even talking because he's a suit. <laughs> it's true. He's not even talking. And from inside information we have, he's not even happy. Thank you.